Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in San Antonio, Texas at the annual meeting of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Junaid Khan, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Altivate Summit in Oakland, California. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Khan has performed thousands of heart valve procedures. Dr. Khan, you and I have known each other for over 10 years. It is great to see you again, and thanks for being with us. Adam, I think the service you provide for the community is so outstanding. There's so many patients who come to us who have been inspired by your website and will actually have come to us with questions based on looking through your website. Yeah, well, speaking of questions, we're at this great conference. We're learning a lot, fantastic meetings and presentations, and we have a patient question that just came in for us, Dr. Khan, that is right up your alley given your specialties in minimally invasive surgery. This comes in from Courtney and she asks, my biological mitral valve replacement is failing after 10 years. Are there minimally invasive operations to re-replace the valve? Courtney, that's a great question. And actually, Adam, that's one of the most common questions we get asked. Like with anything, the, the answer is a little complex. In some ways, the actual re-replacement minimally invasively is actually easier to do because we don't have to take down all the scar tissue that was there from the first surgery. We also have techniques now where we can actually occlude the aorta from the inside with a balloon. So we have to do minimal dissections. Now, sometimes it actually can be harder depending on the amount of adhesions or scar tissue in the chest that we have, but we certainly can do it. We do it relatively routinely, and it is one of the most common questions we ask. The most interesting thing I would tell her, it depends on her age and also depends on your risk profile. Right now, we actually can, in certain patients, and do regularly replace the mitral valve in a situation like yours through a catheter. So transcatheter mitral valve, along with my cardiology colleagues, we do on a relatively routine basis. Well, well thanks for bringing in the whole TMVR, transcatheter mitral valve replacement. And Dr. Khan, on behalf of Courtney, on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Altabate Summit in Oakland, California. Thanks for being with me. My pleasure, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.